I want to bring my club success. I want to take us to the top once more. Rise United fans as we will win the Premier League once again. Welcome to the FIFA 21 Manchester United Career Mode Series. Oh yeah! Hey everyone, it is Finn here and welcome to the brand new Manchester United FIFA 21 Career Mode Series. I am so excited for it and if you are excited for this brand new series too, please do press the like button down below so that I do know and in this series, I plan to take Manchester United back to the top once more. And in today's episode, we'll be playing the first two Premier League games versus Crystal Palace and Aston Villa. Would have shown you the preseason friendlies, but we didn't even make it out of the group stage. And the way this series will work, if you haven't seen my previous career mode series, is whatever the top comment is down below, I have to listen to for the next video. So whether you want me to buy someone specific or do a specific starting lineup, whatever you say, goes and as you can see we have a lot of money to work with so please recommend me some really world-class players and i will buy them oh i see we have a message from our captain well thank you so much harry Maguire. i really appreciate it i think you and i are going to get along just fine with all of that said and done i think it's time for our first game Welcome, Finn. Obviously, your first managerial game for Manchester United. What makes you different to the previous United managers that you won't fail? It's because I'm going to choose the quality of player over their price tag, to be honest with you. To me, it doesn't matter how much you cost. If you don't play well week in, week out, I can't put you in the starting lineup, unfortunately. In my squad, in my Manchester United, no one has a guaranteed spot in the squad. If you don't play well, you won't make it in the squad, but it also does depend on the opposition. Not every player is going to play well against all opposition. And no start for Van der Beek and Tellez? Look, I absolutely love Alex and Donny. I think they will add a lot to the squad, but it is unfair to the current players in the squad if I just put them there. Although they are new, they are world-class players by the looks of things, but they still do have to prove themselves. What about Edinson Cavani? Unfortunately, Cavani won't be in FIFA until the next update, so that's not even an option for me. Thank you and good luck, Finn. Thank you. Okay, everyone, this is the starting lineup I'll go with. As you can see, Crystal Palace have quite a fast lineup. That is why I chose McTominay over Matic. And I was joking when I made him captain, but you know what? It might actually work. And as I said, I'll give Van der Beek and Tellez their debut late on in the game. But for the meantime, I think Shaw and McTominay will start. Now, as it is our first game of the season, a win would be vital. And let me tell you, it did not take long to score our first goal. Check this out. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. First goal of the series, Anthony Martial, 50 million down the drain. I do not think so. What a beautiful first goal of the series. Beautiful win back from Lindelof. Beautiful pop over by Pogba and of course beautiful goal by Martial. It did not take Crystal Palace too long to find their momentum though and one thing I've realized about FIFA 21 is how fast and good the opposition is and it did not take long for their first chance but luckily De Gea proves why he's one of the best in the business and if he keeps stopping shots like that we are in for a good time. And only four minutes after that chance by Crystal Palace, guys, I would say we got quite lucky. Check this out. Listen. Now, I, I will admit, Crystal Palace were really hard to defend against in this game, and we weren't doing too well as a team. I mean, we could not pass to save our lives, and among with that, I mean, Shaw went one way, Maguire went one way, Lindelof lots of straights, but luckily, David De Gea showed why he gets paid the big bucks. Thank you, David. But unfortunately, guys, there are only so many shots you can concede before you concede a goal. And United, look, we weren't looking good defensively. That's never been our strong point. But unfortunately, Crystal Palace scored this freak of nature. I mean, what are the chances? Thread every single needle. I mean, they thread so many needles, you can make a sweater from it. You can't be too upset from that, and all you can do is carry on. 
Now, as we approach the end of the first half, we did have a few good chances, as you can see on screen, but Martial, unfortunately, failed to convert any of them, and due to us lacking that creative ability up front, we had way too much pressure in defense, and because of this, we ended up conceding this freaky wonder goal by Palace, and there we are, as soon as we were in front, we are behind, and now we have to catch up in the second half. I won't lie to you guys, I do think the ref was slightly against us in this game as Palace almost murdered my players on multiple occasions, but luckily for us, Harry Maguire really did step up and showed us why he was the most expensive centre-back in the world. I mean, you don't do this for 50k a week. I mean, he even did a bicycle kick clearance. I think he knows his spots up for grabs and if he doesn't perform, he's getting replaced by Phil Jones. Now on the attacking front in this game, we had 8 minutes left, we were losing 2-1 to Palace, I thought all hope was done, I thought we were out of it, until... Listen. And there we go ladies and gentlemen, with minutes to spare we get the equaliser, Daniel James coming off the bench and getting a perfect cross that meets Bruno Fernandez's header perfectly. Bruno Fernandez showing that he can score from open play and unfortunately guys that was how that game ended but at least we got points from it. Now looking at our second game, we would desperately want to win versus Aston Villa and as you can see they have a pretty strong lineup this time around. The only changes I made to United is I put the wingers further up front to create more chances. I'm starting Daniel James after he got that assist and Alex Tellez will make his debut start in the Premier League. Let's hope we can get a win versus the villains. Now one thing this Villa side does have is a lot of pace and unfortunately our centre backs do not and that is why composure is important but luckily we do have Daniel James on our side which as you can see early on showed his worth in pace and he created some beautiful chances with that pace which unfortunately the Aston Villa defence were equipped to prevent it but we created some beautiful chances early on but once again their new goalkeeper Martinez showed his worth between the posts. But unfortunately, as I did say, this Villa side has a lot of pace behind them. They look really fast with their passing and unfortunately we were unable to stop them as they grabbed their first goal just before the 20th minute. And I won't lie, I'm a bit upset because I know I'll never score from an angle like this. It was a tiny bit lucky, but luck or not, we are now 1-0 behind early on and we have to catch up. And there we go ladies and gentlemen, only 25 minutes into the game, both teams showing that they can score and Bruno scores his second goal of the episode. Beautiful team play with Pogba passing to Marshall, finding Bruno Fernandes and I'm just impressed that Bruno Fernandes was able to outmuscle Mings. Now unfortunately as I did say guys, the one thing Villa has that we do not is pace and unfortunately our centre backs were not able to correctly deal with it, Harry Maguire giving away a penalty and quite lucky to only get a yellow card and of course the penalty taker has to be Bertrand Traore, their brand new winger, he has done well so far in the game, let's hope we can stop it. Now unfortunately the rest of the first half was quite boring and the only other chance we had was towards the end of the half with a beautiful bit of play by Rashford but unfortunately not clinical enough and we know if we want our first win of the season that we have to do better than this. Now one hour into this game we were still at a stalemate and the beginning of the second half was as stale as an old piece of toast. I knew I had to make some changes if I wanted to win so I took off McTominay although he's done very well and I brought on Fred. I wanted to see what his pace could bring to the game and I wanted a bit of Brazilian flair. Now talking about Brazilian flair, unfortunately our new signing Alex Telles did not have a very good game as he was very poor defensively and he gave away some horrible passes that unfortunately led to Aston Villa's second goal, showing quite clearly that maybe it's a good idea we, that we still have Luke Shaw. 
Now, luckily for Manchester United, their next chance was not too long after as they created some beautiful passes. Bruno Fernandes was able to find Martial and Martial, the Frenchman, getting his second goal of the episode and getting a second equaliser for Manchester United in this game. But United knows if they want to contend for a Champions League spot, they will need a win. Now, unfortunately for Manchester United, with two minutes left, it was still a 2-2 draw and Aston Villa were strong in defence and would not give up possession and they looked unbreakable. Manchester United looked like they were going to get a second draw this Premier League season. They gave it everything they had and that's when this happened. No, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes do not deceive you. In typical United fashion, they have won a penalty with two minutes left. This could be for the winner. Bruno Fernandes sets his eyes on the top right. You've heard of Fergie time. This is for United penalty time. Bruno gets ready to take a shot. Can he get the winner? And yes! One minute left. Bruno Fernandes seems to have gotten the winner. And the Manchester United fans go wild while the Aston Villa players fall to the floor. Could this be it for Manchester United? Their first win of the Premier League season. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may think that this game is done, but ooh, just you wait. It's one of the most beautiful things your eyes have ever seen is about to happen right now. We put it on the low, turn it 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 Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and with that goal of the season contender from Marcus Rashford, we have secured ourselves our first win of the Premier League season, as this game versus Aston Villa is done and dusted. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that is unfortunately it for today's episode, the brand new Manchester United career mode series. And if you are not subscribed, please do consider subscribing and if you enjoyed today's episode, please do like it. Let's try to get this episode to 10 likes. I'll be posting the series every Monday and every Friday from now on. Glory glory Man United, don't forget to give me transfer suggestions down below. But this has been Finn. Thank you so much for watching the series. Love and appreciate every single one of you. Stay awesome. Cheers. Bye.